What's up, what's up to you two today? I'm gonna to talk about the Love Dolls. These are the makers by Glup Girl Dolls, which these, in my opinion, looks a little bit more better compared to the Glow Up Dolls. I think that's how you pronounce Glow Girl Dolls, especially with their proportions. At first, when I did saw their promotion pictures while back, I wasn't really into them at first, especially the one that looks like Sasha, but since I saw them in stores, they actually look not bad at all. I love their fashion. These are kind of like a little bit of Y2K aesthetics, the late 2000s and late 2000s, I would say, like between 2000 and Seven to 2010 ish but these fashion packs can also fit with Bratz dolls also with some Monster High dolls including Do Free. I think my favorite is definitely the green one the jade green and the lavender purple I'm planning to get the other two fashion packs eventually as you see in the bottom of the pictures, these are the models that model as the dolls. They kind of remind me, one kind of remind me of Jay, Sasha, Yasmin, and Chloe. Each of them has their personal style. And eventually, I'm actually more connected to them. I love the aesthetics. I know some people say it's out, it's outdated, which it is, but I still like the aesthetics. I'm going to go with Characters 101. And this is London. Yes, this is my favorite one. I'm planning to get her eventually when she, when she goes on sale. And this one is kind of more like a, a little bit safari theme she got there. I love those platform boots. Work it, work it, girl, work it. Her screen actually looks decent in person when I first got, saw these dolls at Walmart. I am loving the coat and these can definitely fit on some Monster High dolls, including G1s and definitely Bratz dolls as well. And I kind of get the Bratz aesthetics. She kind of has that Sasha vibes. I'm definitely gonna get her for sure. So these are kind of like a little bit of the Bratz size dolls. I cannot wait. I love the illustration of her. And here is Brookie. You know, she definitely kind of remind me of a little business attire. Um, professional business, a little bit stylish at the same time. Definitely the late 2000s aesthetics. I definitely got that green outfit for sure. Her fashion pack, this one definitely fits on a bright star really good. The shoes, I would say it kind of fits on a Barbie doll, but it makes their feet, you know, it's a little bit big, but it, it fits okay on the Barbie doll, the shoes. I am definitely loving it. I love her style. It's definitely business attire, but a little bit fashionable. Definitely has that Disney aesthetics. You know, some people did mention on their previous videos. And this one kind of reminds me of definitely a Disney doll. But this is a little bit of gimmick Yasmin doll. But I'm planning to get her too. She's definitely my second favorite. I actually love the color tones. Blue is definitely my favorite color. I think this is more like forgot what color scheme this is but I definitely got that dress the dress kind of fits a little bit wobbly on the uh, Harper her name's Harper on um, Monster High G Free Claudine which it definitely fits Claudine's personality when it did try it on the breast doll it does kind of it makes them like a little kids <laughs> but they choose definitely fits perfectly on a doll and you can see the modeling dress as the doll I add a background that kind of fits her aesthetics, her personality. I'm planning to get her eventually. And here is Alum. Alum kind of got that little, you know, bohemian style, you know, a little hipster style. I kind of like her fashion pack for sure, but I'm planning to get that eventually. So, those are curious. Yes, it can fit on other dolls. It can fit on Bratz dolls, you know, some Monster High dolls, including G1, G3. She definitely kind of has Yasmin style, you know, from Bratz. Um, from the first edition, because, you know, the Yasmin doll, she did have that Bohemian style. Which, you know, it's kind of outdated, but I'm guessing that's why I'm kind of connected. I know some people might not like their fashions because it's very date outdated. But hey, here's a close-up when I was at Walmart. 
here's the back of the box the back of the box is really decent even though it is the price of fair dolls i mean they got some box collectors i feel like it should have came a little bit more accessories especially for the fair doll price range but the fashion packs are really affordable as well and here are the dolls close up i'm definitely gonna get the last two for sure harper london brooke and alum Anyway, I hope they make boys dolls and eventually I hope to see more in the future. I feel like this will last a, at least three years. Anyway, how you feel about these love dolls? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope they make some boys dolls. I'm really looking for a special black boy dolls. Thank you. Good night.